So your pass key is malfunctioning and you've determined you need to bypass the VAT system. If you have an extra key, I'll show you how to make a pass key to bypass the GM VAT security system. Um, if you have a second key and you don't want to be without a second key, then go on uh, eBay and buy yourself a VATS key with that number, number five, okay? Now again, I mean, don't order number five, but obviously you're gonna have to figure out which VATS key number. And there's one, two, I believe it's 15, okay? And here's where you read it, okay? The, uh, the number that, uh, the resistance number that you're gonna get off of here. Once you determine the resistance number, then that'll determine your VATS key number. Anyway, figure out your VATS key number. Go on eBay, they sell them anywhere from five, six dollars all the way up to $25 for a VATS key. Uh, the ones that have the um, Cadillac emblem on it obviously are gonna cost more if you just buy a plain one, then um, you know they're cheaper. So, okay, we know it's number five. We go on eBay, we order a VATS key, uh, one or two, however many you want. Um, it comes to uh, you know to your house obviously and let's say now we have the VATS key from eBay right here okay now this is what we're gonna do okay you're gonna take some wire okay and I'm give it about six inches or so you're gonna cut it you're gonna cut two of them Strip both sides. Okay, once you strip both sides, okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to buy these flat connectors. Okay, I'm spinning around and hopefully you got. Uh, hello, where are you? Oh, really? Okay, there you go. They look like this. Okay, okay and I know you guys have seen these before. If you haven't, just show them the video of this and they know what to do. Anyway, it doesn't have to be very big. You can see how the relationship, how big it is to the key. Anyway, you're going to put these in, right, into the wire. And what you want to do is you want to crimp that really, really good, okay? So crimp it really good. Then what you're going to do, you're going to get two of them like that, right? I don't have the other one here, but you're going to get two of them like this on each side. And then you're going to have, this is the other side, what it looks like. Now you could go a little longer on these, maybe go a half inch, three quarters of an inch, even one inch if you want to, okay? So then anyway, so you're going to get, you're going to have two leads like this. If you, they can be the same color, it doesn't matter, okay? Then what you're going to do to the key, now, some guys say solder on, on here, and I think that's, I don't think that's what you should do because there's, it's a resistance in here, and we don't know if it's, there's a resistor or what in there, and if you heat it, it could probably damage the resistor. So, what I decided to do was to take some electric tape, what you're going to do is you're going to cover the key, okay? Okay, you can see how it kind of looks. And where that little metal thing is at, even the dark part, go ahead and take uh, your utility knife, your exacto knife, and just cut it out so only that area cut your finger. That area is exposed. Okay, see what I got there? You can see where only, maybe you can't, I don't know, 
you can see that it's only that little metal area, that little metal, metal area, only that's exposed. Okay. Because what we don't want to do is, is we don't want to touch the metal on here. We don't want to touch the metal on here because if we do that there, then we're connecting to the other side and it's not going to work. So anyway, so now that we got that exposed, then we put this on here, right? And you put some, you know, you do it on both sides. Okay, you do the same thing like this on this side too. Right? So you're going to do the same thing on both sides. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put this on here, make sure it's a good contact. And then, or, you know, either way you can go. Gosh. Anyway, so, you know, you're going to either this way or this way, it doesn't matter. But tape it together, both, both of them. Okay, so you're going to have, you know, both of them like that. Okay, it'll look like this. You're going to tape them together, right? Once you tape them together, Okay, once you tape them together, you know, and I'm just doing this as an example, but once you tape them together, um, okay, once you've taped them together, um, get one of these, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna position it right over that area where that metal clip is at. The reason why you want to do that is because this is going to go underneath the, your steering column and it's low voltage it's not going to uh, get you know catch on fire or anything like that. Uh, number one you got you know tape over it. But on a hot day if it's just tape you know these this, those contacts are going to get loose and they're probably not going to make a good connection. If you clip this on it's going to make sure that those two contacts are touching the, the, the key and those resistors on each side. It's going to hold it there. It's not going to move. And then, of course, you're going to connect these two wires underneath. Now, remember, you have the wires coming down from the steering column into that box that I was telling you about. What you're going to do is you're going to cut the wire, you know, in the, in the box area. It, don't cut it so close to the box. Cut it about, if you can, about six inches away. You're going to cut it and you're going to connect it, the wires coming out of the box. You'll see two wires, well, you're going, to see, you're going to see once you cut it, you're going to have to, you know, uh, splice it. And there'll be two wires, you know, there'll be two wires and you splice it and you're going to splice it and you're going to connect it to this, right? And what happens is this is going to complete the circuit, okay? You got the two wires coming in here, you're going to connect it, you're going to put electrical tape, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, um, you know, you're going to put this up in the, you know, underneath your uh, dash uh, next to the box. Put it somewhere so it doesn't fall down. Next thing you know, your foot is breaking this thing off accidentally. Make sure it's, you know, out of the way. And, what, like I said, it completes the circuit. Okay. And what's going to happen when you turn the key on, instead of the, the computer going up into the column, reading the key, and then coming back down in the box and going back to the computer and saying, okay, we got the right key in there. What's happening now is it's going from here to this key and reading it, going back and telling the computer saying, you know, we're good to go. This is called digitally hot wiring a car. Uh, technically, you're not hot wiring it. You know, you just give it another key, uh, you know, to read off of instead of the one in the column. And like I said, these cost about seven to twenty-five dollars, depending on what you know kind of key you want to get. If you like to see the complete video, look at the bottom of the description. The link will be there. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it was very informative. Please check out my other how-to videos. Oh, and check out my new website. There's new items being put in there every day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and of course, hit the bell. Until then, we'll see you at my next video. Bye.